Hi, Alan SoCal. I'm reviewing a wireless mic set. This happens to be the uh, Moriv. I believe that's how they pronounce it, Moriv. Uh, UHF dual channel wireless microphone system, and it is the MRKG2. One receiver, two transmitters. What you do get in the box, and uh, this is an Android uh, DSLR camera compatible system. So uh, here we've got uh, your uh, TRS to TRS cable, uh, and you're listening to what you might call a reference audio because I'm using my standard daily use wireless mic system. Uh, just saying the uh, second cable, uh, TRS, uh, going into the receiver, and then the output on this end of this cable, a TRRS tip, ring, ring, and shield, which goes into a cell phone or Android device. Be mindful, too, uh, there's a very nice die-cut uh, foam insert in this box, and uh, as I've said on other items, in this case, I would save this box as your storage device because it won't get much better than this. It's not okay, let's uh, talk a little bit about the um, transmitters. This is one of the transmitters, and... Um, I'm going to show you that uh, when I loaded this with batteries, I had a choice. I've got rechargeables, and then I've got just your standard alkalines. So these are alkalines I just recently ordered from Amazon and put these in. Um, you always will have power. You don't have to rely on recharging your batteries. If you want to use rechargeables, which I loaded a pair in the receiver here, then, of course, you save some money. Uh, you do have to keep uh, an inventory of the batteries fully charged and ready to go, which I do. Okay, when you take a close look at the transmitter, there are some choices you can make here uh, in how you operate the system. Um, this, uh, and I'm hoping you can see it, uh, this little slide switch right here at the end of the pencil is for either a lavalier input or a line-in input. Remember, you may not be using a mic. Maybe you're going to be attaching this to another type of amplification system or audio system, and you're going to slide this over to line-in. Uh, lavalier mics or any type of microphone is going to have a different impedance uh, matching value. It uh, is going to have uh, a different type of uh, output energy uh, level, so uh, that's in consideration of those two inputs to the transmitter. And then you've got a bank of four dip switches, what we call dip switches, and depending on what frequency you choose, uh, you'll position these so that this transmitter matches the receiver's dip switch settings. That gives you your frequency. And uh, I might add that in the instruction book, and I had to look for it, there is a, <laughs> there it is, there's a dip switch uh, guide for each frequency. And then at the back of the manual, you'll have all the frequencies shown for group A and B. Remembering that you've got two transmitters, uh, again, channels uh, or frequencies in the A group and the B group. And you can set each transmitter, depending on what your activity is going to be for the day, uh, to either transmit on the grouping of A frequencies or B frequencies, your choice. And here is the receiver. Dual antenna, two antennas, and um, again, all of the units on the back have a belt clip. Let me bring that up higher. The belt clip, by the way, is compatible, and let me show it to you, with this, uh, looks like a cold shoe mount, but actually this device in the back here, 
uh, it uh, latches onto the belt clip and then will allow you to mount your receiver to a cold shoe mount. The only thing I haven't figured out yet is if you do that, the antennas are going to be in a horizontal position, not vertical, and antenna theory says that if you're transmitting in a vertical pattern from the transmitters, the receiver should be vertical. So I'm going to have to think about uh, maybe an L bracket if I were to use uh, the uh, adapter for the belt clips. Okay, so let's now look at the uh, inside uh, cabinet area here. And very similar to the transmitter, uh, you've got your battery bay, and as I told you, I've loaded rechargeables in the receiver just to show you the difference. Let me get that glare out. Um, again, the, you've got a, um, a uh, output switch, not an input switch. If you slide this switch to the left, uh, it is for headphones, so you can then monitor the... Um, uh, you know, the uh, signal that uh, you're adjusting with the volume dial here on this side. So you can see that volume dial right there. And I did that. I plugged my headphones into the top so I could make my adjustments. When you're done doing the adjustments, you flick the switch to the right, and now this is a line-out signal instead of uh, your earphone audio out. Uh, you've got the dip switches for setting the exact frequency that it, this receiver is going to listen to. And in this case, uh, you've got a stereo or mono switch so that you can either listen to each transmitter uh, in its own unique audio channels left and right, or if you switch to mono, both transmitters as I understand it, will feed into the receiver as a monophonic signal, not directional A and B channels, just one channel. Okay, well, the results are in. Uh, I did my very, very first test, which I'm not even going to show the clip to you. And what happened, I was severely overdriving my camera with audio. Turned out, I forgot to, on the receiver, slide the, the, the switch on its output choice. I forgot to go from uh, headsets to line out, meaning uh, a totally different audio out level. Uh, and uh, so I made that change, and what you're hearing now is a fully adjusted audio level. Number one, I, after I made that switch, I used my camera's digital uh, bar guides to show me the audio level uh, that I was creating using this uh, transmit receive system. And I've got to tell you, I am really impressed with it. It's good audio. I like it. I'm going to give you the one caution. This is my overall opinion. This is not in my opinion, a transceiver set for someone who wants something totally automated. Everything about this is manual, and uh, if you come from the old school of transceivers, uh, all of these adjustments will make sense. It doesn't uh, auto-pair. It, it is a manual pairing. Once you set it up, it immediately uh, transmit to receiver talks to one another, but you've got to make your uh, frequency choices. It won't make them for you. All of that shared with you, I just will say that for me it's a five-star item. The price was good. I like the external antennas. It's a body clamp system, and the other feature I do like is the fact that you put in your own batteries. It's not internally rechargeable, but you know what? With batteries that you've got in a box, like maybe 48 AA cells, you can use this unit forever, <laughs> essentially. 
uh, I did not shut the transceiver and uh, receiver system off. I didn't uh, shut either of the units down uh, while I was doing my adjustments. Normally I would with my other set because it, uh, it's internally, uh, you know, internal batteries. And if they're at the end, uh, if I haven't remembered to recharge them, I can't do very much. So um, uh, I like this system. For me, it's a five-star item. If you're into automatic uh, setups, this probably won't work for you. But again, you know, you know the benefits that I found important, so just make your own choice.